joined us. Let's start to thank God this morning. So, Father, we just thank you. We bless your name. We just cannot thank you enough for all that you do for us. Lord, you are a faithful God, and we just thank you, thank you, thank you. We thank you, Lord, for keeping us, for protecting us, for delivering us. We just give you thanks, my Father, Lord. We cannot just thank you enough. Even if we had a thousand tongues, it would not be enough to give you thanks. So, Father, we thank you. Father, we bless your name. We just thank you, Lord, for the people that you've put around us, for our family members, and all the people around us that love us, that support us, that encourage us, people that you use, people that through them you speak to us, through them you embrace us, through them you just continue to love us. Lord, we thank you for these people. We thank you for just your presence that's around us, Lord, your presence that protects us, that guides us, that leads us. We just give you thanks, Lord, because this is an amazing, amazing God. We just give you thanks, we bless your name. We cannot thank you enough, we cannot bless you enough for all that you do for us. So Father, we just thank you, Lord. We just bless your name. We thank you for every single member, every single person on this platform. We thank you for their families. Thank you for their lives and all our, and our health and strength. Thank you for your health, Lord. Your health, for your strength, for all your blessings in our lives. We just give you thanks, Lord. We cannot thank you enough as you guide us, as you lead us, as you just Give us directions and instructions. We just thank you for your Holy Spirit that indwells us, that surrounds us, Lord. We give you thanks. We bless your name. There's no God like you. Only you are God. You are highly lifted up, my Father, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for all that you're doing in our lives, Lord. We thank you, Lord. We bless your name. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Let's just pray the Spirit this morning as we charge ourselves up. Amen. In Jesus' name, amen. So, Father, we just thank you. We bless your name. We thank you for keeping us through the night. We thank you for waking us up this morning. We thank you, Father God, for blessing us with this amazing and a glorious day. So, Father, we just pray that you fill our hearts with your presence and your wisdom, and that from the abundance of our hearts we pray, and that we pray prayers that will achieve their purpose and not fall to the ground void. So, Father, we thank you. Father, we bless your name. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. Amen. Good morning, family. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. We'll start our prayers this morning from Psalm 145, verse 106. The Bible says, You open your hand and satisfy the desire of every living thing. That is our God. This week, um, and this morning, I'd like us to pray that this week and today, that the Lord will satisfy all our desires in Jesus' name. Whatever it is that you desire, is it good health? Is it financial breakthrough? Is it... Um, just ideas to help you at work is it the grace to do certain things let's pray this morning that this week and 
even today, that our Father will satisfy our desires in Jesus' name. Let's go ahead and pray. Amen. Father, in the name of Father, Jesus, 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 I just pray that you did that you satisfy my desires. All my desires that are according to your will, Lord, that you satisfy them, Lord, in Jesus' name. Oh, so, Father, I just thank you, Lord. And I thank you, Lord. Just like you did, I know that you have satisfied them because you will do it. Every desire of mine that is according to your will, Lord, I pray that you will move those and satisfy them. And I pray for every single person on this platform and my family and my children and all our desires that are according to your will. Let them be satisfied, satisfied completely, Lord, I pray that you will do Every desire and thought that you all have that according to your will, let them be satisfied. I pray for the saints that the, that the, that the desires of the saints that are according to your will be satisfied. That they're supernaturally in a powerful, powerful way that you pray for us. Oh, Father, I just receive supernatural satisfaction. Oh, yes, Lord, all my desires are according to your will be satisfied. Oh, Father, I thank you, Lord. I bless your name. It's an amazing God. Let your goodness, your goodness be manifested in all our lives and your mercy and your goodness and your love. Be, be manifested amazingly in all our lives in Jesus' name. Father, we just thank you, Lord, as we just start to just experience all this with the answer of prayer. In Jesus' name, Father, we thank you. Father, we bless your name in Jesus' name. Amen. Next, we'll move on to Daniel chapter 2, verse 21. The Bible says, He changes the times and seasons, He removes kings and establishes them. He gives wisdom to the wise and knowledge to the discerning. He reveals the deep and hidden things. He, hidden things. He knows what lies in darkness, and light dwells within him. And Psalm 25 verse 14 says, The Lord confides in those who fear him and reveals his covenant to them. This morning, I'd like us to commit our times and our seasons into God's hands. That the Lord should just take charge of our time and our season as individuals, as a church, and even as a nation. Um, let's pray for our individual countries. And let's also pray that the Lord will grant us wisdom, knowledge, and revelation in this season. That his children would be set apart. Just like Daniel was set apart at that time, his children would also be set apart because of the level of wisdom, knowledge, and revelation that comes only from him. So that's our prayer. Our next prayer point goes to, let's begin to pray. Father, in Jesus' name, I just commit all my time and my season to my hands. Oh Lord, I pray Lord, that you just take charge of my time and season. I perfect them, Lord. I pray that you open my, the eyes of my understanding to all my time and seasons, Lord, that I will understand and I will know exactly what you're doing at every time in every season in my life. And I pray this for every single person on this platform, for my children, for every single person in the sound of my voice, that indeed that, that, that God will just Okay. Yes, yes, watch over our time and season. Give us the uh, 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 an understanding. Oh, yes, a uh, supernatural understanding of our time and season so that we know, oh, yes, what, what the plan of God is at every time in every season. We will know how to align ourselves with His, with his plan. Our so vision will be in perfect alignment with the plans of God for our life in, at every time in every season in Jesus' name. So, in the name of Jesus, we just pray. I pray for, for wisdom, for knowledge, for revelation to us, to me and all the saints, that we will know your time, the times and seasons you set for us as a people, that you set us apart because of our wisdom, just like the way you set us apart, that we will set us apart in Jesus' name. Oh, Father, we thank you. Father, we just bless your name. You're an amazing God, Lord. You're just, you're just amazing God, Lord. We just pray that, yes, that all the saints will be that, that we need to open our mind and our the mind is there, of all the sins that we are writing to know your plan is in all their times and seasons and the sins will move and act and speak and think and plan according to your plan for your times and seasons in Jesus' name. Oh Father, we thank you, Lord. We bless your name, Lord. We thank you because we stand out in the mind of the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Oh yes, Lord, I just pray that I receive amazing wisdom. Oh yes, and the revelation of Jesus. 
Nothing is nothing is hidden for me that I should know. And everything I should know, I will know it. And I will understand that action is according to your will. I will align my action and my speech and my thoughts according to your will. You never see it, you never see it. In Jesus' name, amen. Because you show us every single day. Jesus, mighty name. Amen. In the name of Jesus, amen. 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 Then we move on to 1 Kings chapter 17, verse 14. The Bible says, For this is what the Lord, the God of Israel, says. The jar of flour will not be used up, and the jug of oil will not run dry, till the day the Lord sends rain on the land. We all know this story. So this morning, I'd like us to pray that the Lord will sustain our own jar, jug of oil, which is our jobs or our businesses, that he will sustain it and keep it in this season. And that he will grant us business ideas, problem solving skills, new inventions, and that these things will not run dry in our lives in the name of Jesus. Let's be strengthened in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name, Lord, I just pray that you sustain me. Sustain me, sustain my work, sustain my ministry, and sustain my businesses. That you sustain all my resources, Lord, even in this season and in every season, Lord, that my that that that, that, that my resources will continue to multiply and that I'll just grow in every good way in the name of Jesus. Oh Father, just thank you, Lord. And I pray for every single one of us, Lord, that you will sustain. Lord, that you sustain the jobs of the saints, that the saints of our businesses will be sustained. Oh, yes, that our finances will be sustained, that all our resources will be sustained, and our income will be sustained. That even in this season, that our, that our jobs, that our, that our income will be multiplied. Oh, yes, our resources will be multiplied in the name of Jesus, because you are our source, and our, team, our, our finances are the finances of the kingdom of God, and indeed our, our, our economy. Oh yes, that our economy is the economy of the kingdom and not the right of our nation in Jesus' name. Oh Father, I thank you for this amazing word you've spoken over your children and your heart of love for your children that supplies us, that resources us, that causes us to continue to increase and multiply irrespective of what's going on in our economy. Oh Father, we thank you, Lord. Oh yes, Father, we just receive business ideas from you. In Jesus' name, we receive business ideas, we receive problems and skills, because Growth in every season, Lord, because we are led by you. And you're a good shepherd. You lead us to green pastures. You lead us to still waters. Oh, Father, we thank you. We bless your name. It is an amazing, amazing God. I cannot thank you enough for all that you've done for us. We have just received from you. Amazing wisdom. All that you have in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. And then we move on to Esther chapter 6, verse 1. The Bible says, That night the king could not sleep, so he ordered the book of the Chronicles, the record of his reign, to be brought in and read to him. This morning, I'd like us to pray that the Lord will connect us to our destiny, help us in the name of Jesus, that this week as we start it, that destiny help us will not elude us in the name of Jesus. Amen. Let's begin to pray. Father, oh, Father, thank just you. thank you, Lord, that this thank week, as we get into this week, Lord, we pray that we will be connected with our destiny of this week. That we'll be connected powerfully and permanently with our destiny of this week. That they will remember us, they will recognize us, that we will know them, that in Jesus' name we I pray, Jesus' name, that our feet will be orchestrated in such a way that we encounter our destiny of this week. That we will be at the right place at the right time to encounter them, we will recognize them. 
will have a life of fullness and that we will embrace and give your will be done in our lives. That all that you have, you have put in their hearts to do for us, that they will do, that they will not turn back and reduce what it is that they put in their hearts. But they will do it all in Jesus' name. That they will release everything that you have, you, have, you have said to them in Jesus' name. That they will not take offense from us, we will not take offense from them. But that we will be bound in a bond of love and indeed your will shall be done in our lives. Oh, Father, we just thank you. Father, we just bless your name, Lord. Lord, you see, in Jesus' name, I receive the capacity to receive my destiny helper and see my destiny helper to all the to your complete will be done. Oh, yes, I will. I pray to that my destiny helper will be mature and grown and have the capacity to do all that you have put in their hearts. Oh, Father, we thank you. Father, we bless your name. It is an amazing, amazing God. So we thank you. We bless your name. Comfortable. Jesus I just name. receive yes. Amen. I declare that I am surrounded by helpers. I declare that I am surrounded by helpers. Amen. And that my Jesus name. Declare that I am surrounded by helpers. Oh yes, my Jesus name. Give my person a rest. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Amen. And then we move on to declare to decree and declare that we are surrounded by helpers of our increase in Jesus' name, and that our helpers would have no rest, no sleep until they help us. Let's begin to pray. Amen. In Jesus' name, I decree and I declare that I am surrounded by helpers of my increase in Jesus' name, that they surround me and they carry out your will in Jesus' name. I just decree and I declare that I am surrounded, oh yes, in every area of my life, Oh yes, by helpers of my increase in Jesus' name. And Father God, I pray in the name of Jesus that you give my helpers no rest until they help me. That they will not rest until they help me. Until they do all that you have put in their hands to do for me. Oh yes, until they deliver into my hands all that you have put in their hands for me. Oh Father, I pray that you give my helpers no rest until they help us. Until they help us in Jesus' name. I decree that I am surrounded by helpers of my increase in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Do what you have to ask them to do for her in the mighty name of Jesus. Blessed be your name, Father. Thank, Thank you, Lord. In, in Jesus, Jesus' name we name. pray. Amen. 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 Yes, I've finished early, and so I hand over to the next prayer leader. Amen. Um, I don't see Pastor Stephen on the platform. Okay. Yeah. This, amen, amen. Isaiah 41 11 says, Behold, all those who are incensed against you shall be ashamed and disgraced. They shall be as nothing as those who strive with you shall perish. This morning, I just want us to just start off just on our own in our own words to pray for all the persecuted saints all over the world and um, these are our brothers and our sisters in parts of the world where even in parts of nigeria where they have been killed they have been persecuted they have been excluded from resources they have been driven out of their villages and their homes um let's just start to to just 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 in love start to pray for them and start to cover them and start to just bring their situations before the throne of god this morning let us pray so, Father, I just pray for all the Christians all over the world oh, yes, that, are, that are under persecution at this time. Lord, I pray that you protect them, Lord, that you defend them, Lord, that there are any of them in captivity, Lord, I pray in the name of Jesus, that you set them free, that you just, 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 just cause their, their, their captors to set them free. Oh, Lord, I pray, Lord, be their defense, be their shield. Oh, yes, Lord, that be their shelter, Lord, we pray in the name of Jesus. Where they cannot defend themselves, Lord, defend them. Where they cannot speak for themselves, Lord, defend them, Lord. Lord, we just pray for 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 for, for, for Christians, for saints. Oh yes, in northern Nigeria, in Kaduna, in Zamfara, in Katsina, in Kano, in Sokoto, in all these places, in Maiduguri. Oh yes, in Bono. Lord, Lord, be with them, Lord. Lord, Lord, protect them, Lord. Let them be known. Let their blood not be shed in vain anymore, my Father. For the Christians in Joss, Lord, in Plateau State. 
people have been killed every day and every night. Oh Lord, Lord, we pray. Let there be a stop to this bloodshed. Let there be a stop. Lord, we pray that you arise and that you protect our brethren, that you protect our, our sisters and brothers and fathers and children in Jesus' name. That they not be killed anymore and, and just, just, just let them let the persecution stop. In Jesus' name. Lord, we pray that you arise in our defense, Lord, that you protect us, that you come against every evil plan that has, that has been made, that has affected your children. Lord, we pray that you scatter their plans and scatter their gatherings. Oh, yes, in Jesus' name, we pray that you, do, that you arise and come against all the people and the plans that have been made. Oh, yes, against your children, Lord. Let this chance, Lord. let all these plans fail, Lord, we pray. Lord, we just speak, Lord, that you did. Lord, we are shield, Lord. We are protected, Lord. Deliver them, Lord. Deliver us all. Our brothers and sisters, deliver them out of persecution. Deliver them from bloodshed. Deliver them from wickedness. Just deliver us, Lord, we pray. In the name of Jesus. Amen. In Jesus' name. Amen. Let's, our first prayer point this morning is, let us do violent spiritual warfare against every demonic spirit that is attacking us through people around us, at home, at work, in church. Let's pray this for our family and saints worldwide. Let me explain this. Um, when people come against us, it's really not the people. People are just vessels. It's the devil, Satan himself, through his demonic spirits, is using these people to attack you, to attack us, to just cause problems for us in our places of work, in, or everywhere we go. So it's not the people. So this morning, I want us to just have that wisdom, to now go beyond the people to the source of our problems, that it is the demonic spirit that, that, that they have allowed to enter them, that's using them to attack us. If we bind these spirits and we cast them out of them, and fill them with the Spirit of God. These people will change. I've, I've experienced this so many times. I mean, these people will change. So let's start to speak to the demonic spirits that's, that, that's there. And I, and I sense this, that there are people at work that are, that are giving us problems. There are people in our, in our environment that's just a problem to us. But let's realize it's not them. We have to love them. But, but they have allowed a demonic spirit to use them. Now let us open our eyes see beyond the people, look directly at the demonic spirit and speak to that spirit this morning. You bind them, you cast them out, you burn them with fire and you tell them, you command them never to come back to you again and never to use these people. And you command them out of these people and you speak the spirit of God into these people. Let's start to pray. So, Father, in the name of Jesus, I in take authority Jesus, over every Lord, demonic spirit that's attacking me through Lord, any person at all. And I bind you in the name of Jesus. And I command you to stop the evil of this me. And I command you to get out of these people. To get out of them. To get out of them. In the name of Jesus, I want you to get out of them. Oh, yes. I'm big when I don't come back. I trust them. I release the spirit of love. The spirit of love and joy and peace into every single person that has been attacking me or has been thinking evil thoughts towards me or that you come to in any kind of way. I just feel that with the spirit of God in Jesus' name and the spirit of love. Oh yes, in Jesus' name. I take authority over every demonic spirit that is operating against my children and I bind them in Jesus' name. I command them to stop their evil actions against them in Jesus' name. Get out of them in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name, I release the fire and the power in the name of Jesus. I give every demonic spirit that's operating against my children, that's operating against them. I bind you and I cast you out and I command you Get anger, out and whatsoever they might be that is I acting through you. I disconnect you. I cut every connection out from them and I close every open door that you use to enter into their lives. In the name of Jesus, I just let my list of Holy Spirit upon all my children. I release the spirit of joy and peace and love into all my children. Let them be filled with your spirit in the name of Jesus. Oh Father, I thank you. Oh yes, I pray for the saints that we need that every persecutor of the saints I just take authority over every demonic spirit around, that is people using around people around to persecute the, people 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 the people saints all over the world. And I bind the spirits and I cast them out. Every spirit of wickedness, every 
every spirit of bloodshed, every spirit of oppression and affliction that is coming against the saints all over the world. In the name of Jesus, I bind you. Just by commanding you to stop your evil action. Just by commanding you to get out of the saints and be gone. And be gone. I command you to flee from them. In the name of Jesus. Just by my use of power and the fire in the name of Jesus. Against every demonic spirit of oppression against the saints right now. I do burn you to ride your way in the name of Jesus. And I command you to stay out. I bind you and cast you out. In Jesus' name, I reach the power and the fire of God. I guess every evil work has been done by the enemy against the saints. Oh yes, I destroy this world completely, completely, completely. In the name of Jesus. Oh Father, I thank you. Father, I just bless your name. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. In the name, according to this, this verse, it says, Behold, all those who were incensed against you shall be ashamed and disgraced. So in Jesus' name, let us speak shame and disgrace and defeat and failure and confusion and division and disarray and unfruitfulness over every move of the enemy against us, over every plan of the enemy against us, over every word of the enemy against us, over every prophecy of the enemy against us, over every camp of the enemy that they have encamped against us, over every gathering of the enemy, the devil against us. We'll pray. This, this is a long and a detailed prayer. Let's not be in a hurry before the Lord this morning. Let us take it step by step and let us pray this for our family and saints worldwide. To be quite frank, if we took this prayer completely, it would take enough time this morning. So let us take, take our time and pray this. In the name of Jesus, I speak shame and disgrace over every every plan of the enemy against my life, over every word of the enemy against my life, over every prophecy of the enemy against my life. I speak shame and disgrace over every gathering of the enemy over my life. In Jesus' name, I just speak shame and disgrace over every over over every camp of the enemy against my life. In Jesus' name, I just speak defeat. Feet and failure. Oh yes, yeah. over every move of the enemy against my life. In Jesus' name, I just speak defeat and failure over every plan of the enemy against my life. In Jesus' name, I speak defeat and failure over every word against my enemy. In Jesus' name, I speak defeat and failure over every prophecy of the devil against my life. In the name of Jesus, I speak defeat and failure over every gathering of the enemy against my life. I just speak defeat and failure over the plans of the enemy concerning my Jesus' name, I speak confusion and division over every Plan of the enemy against my life. I just concerning every area of my life. I just speak confusion and division over the plan of the enemy against my life. I speak confusion and division over every 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 demonic prophecy against my life. I speak confusion and division over every camp of the enemy. In Jesus' name, I just speak confusion and division over every gathering of the enemy against my life. Oh yes, in Jesus' name, I just speak disarray and unfruitfulness. Over every move of the enemy against my life, I in Jesus' name I just speak disarray and unfruitfulness over every plan of the enemy against my life. In the name of Jesus, I speak disarray and unfruitfulness over every word of the enemy, over every satanic prophecy against my life. I speak disarray over you. I speak unfruitfulness. It shall not be fruitful in Jesus' name. Yeah, I guess in the name of Jesus, I speak disarray and unfruitfulness over every camp of the enemy, wherever the enemy has come. Against my life, come against us, come against my children, come against the saints. I speak of fruitfulness, I speak disarray. They will be in disarray in Jesus' name. They will be unfruitful. Their plans will be unfruitful in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, I speak disarray and unfruitfulness against every gathering of this enemy against my life. In Jesus' name, that's like in the end, they shall be unfruitful, they shall be disarray. But every gathering that the enemy has gathered. They shall be disarranged in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name, I pray for my family and my strength. I declare over myself that nothing means shame, nothing And I speak shame and disgrace over every move of the enemy, over every plan of the enemy against my family and the saints worldwide. There are plans will be, I speak shame, shame and disgrace. They will be disgraced for their evil plans. They will be shame but for their evil plans. This their move will cause them to be. 
All the people who are behind this COVID-19, where they shall be put to shame, all the people who are planning evil for the world, for their personal gains, they will be put to shame in Jesus' name. They will be put to shame, they will be disgraced, they will be defeated, they will experience failure. All the people who are who are behind COVID-19, who are, who are behind it as a plan to put the world in disarray, they will let them be confused. Let there be division in their country, in Jesus' name. Let there be disarray. They must be on foot for all the COVID-19 plotters and planners, that they will be on foot in Jesus' name. Oh yes, not that their plans will be put to shame. It is not be on foot for in Jesus' name. We speak against them. Lord, we pray, move against them in Jesus' name. All those who are coming against the saints, coming against my family, let their plans be put to shame. Let them experience disgrace, defeat, and failure. Let them be confused. Let them be in division. Let them be in disarray. Let them be unfruitful in the name of Jesus. All those that are coming against the saints, coming against my children. Oh yes, Lord, let me pray. Every gathering against my children. Every gathering against the saints. Every camp. Every one of them. Every demonic person against the saints my children. Let them experience shame and disgrace. They will all express defeat and failure. All of them will express confusion in Jesus' name. They will be divided. There will be division. There will be no unity amongst them. In Jesus' name, they will be in disarray. They will be unfruitful, unfruitful. In every area of their life, unfruitful. In the name of Jesus. Oh yes, we just pray against all, all, every move of the enemy against our lives. They will be unfruitful in Jesus' name. They will be as nothing. Oh yes, they will be as nothing in Jesus' name. Oh Father, we thank you. Father, we bless you because you fight for us. Oh yes, I don't we pray, Holy Spirit, that you use our words. Oh yes, to fight the enemy and completely destroy them and scatter them in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. In Jesus' name. This morning we are going to stay on the same note. Isaiah 41, 12. It says, you shall seek them and not find them. Those who contend with you, you will seek them, not find them. Those who war against you shall be as nothing as a non-existing thing. So first things first, we'll just use this verse and use our own words. We'll be led by the Holy Spirit. Let us pray for persecuted Christians worldwide. I mean, it's time that we started to, to, to have a burden for our brethren all over the world who are being killed, who are being scattered, who the enemy is oppressing. It's time that we just start to lift them up consistently, consistently in our hearts every time we come before the Lord in prayer. So let us just do that this morning as we pray for the persecuted Christians worldwide. So Father, I just pray. For, I pray against those who are persecuting your children. That indeed let them be scattered. That even if we seek them, we will not find them. All those who are killing the Christians and shedding the blood, who are driving them from the villages, who are locking them up, who are who are making evil plans to come against your children anywhere in the world. Oh Father, I pray that you scatter them, that you blow them away. Oh yes, that you grind them like fine dust and scatter them into the wind. That even though we seek them, we will not find. Them, that those who contend with your children, oh yes, God, we pray that you war against them, that they shall, I will decree, that we declare, that they shall be nothing as a non-existing thing, no matter how, what, whoever they think they are, in their resources and in their pride, that in the name of Jesus, that you pray that you war against them, until they be as nothing, as they be as a non-existing thing. Oh Father, I pray that you scatter them, the enemies of your, your enemies who come against us. Let them be scattered. Let your arrows locate them. Let them be completely scattered completely in the name of Jesus. And all their resources, Lord, scatter their resources. Disconnect them from their sources of power. Let them not have whatever it is that they, that, that their resources to attack your children, to scatter your children. Lord, in the name of Jesus, come against our enemy, your enemies who are persecuting your children. Bind, in Jesus' name, we bind the demonic spirits behind them that are causing them to come to us. Oh, we scatter this demonic spirit the money spirit shall be as nothing that they shall not be found in Jesus' name. Oh yes, Lord, we pray. Protect your children. Defend your children. In Jesus' name we pray. Attack the persecutors of your children. Attack 
them, Lord. Holy Spirit, we attack them, attack them, attack them, and scatter them, Lord. Let them not be found, Lord. Let them be completely scattered. Lord. Scatter their plans, scatter them themselves, scatter their resources, scatter their power, scatter their children, scatter their resources. Just scatter them, scatter their habitation. Lord, we pray the name of Jesus. Oh yes, scatter them, Lord. Let them not be able to gather against us. Let them not be able to come against us. Oh Father, Lord, we pray, Lord, to defend us, fight for us when they touch us, Lord. My Father, I pray, touch them. Oh yes, oh yes, said do my prophets no harm, Lord. Lord, we pray just name that you attack your that, that every person, every persecutor of your children. Oh yes, Lord, do not give them peace, drive them away, let them not be found, grind them as fine dust, and blow them into the wind. We pray in the name of Jesus. Oh Father, we thank you. Father, we bless your name. In the name of Jesus, we have prayed. Amen. Amen. Let's us take the first prayer point, and it says, In the name of Jesus, start to declare your victory over every plan of the enemy, over every move of the enemy, over every word of the enemy. You are declaring victory over every attack of the enemy against your life, against your finances, against your plans, against your destiny, against your career, against your business, against your progress. Pray for family and saints as well. So this is these prayers are loaded. Let's take our time and pray them in completion diligently this morning. Let us pray. In the name of Jesus, I in declare the victory the of oh, yes. over I every plan, of, over all my plans. Plan. Oh yes, over every plan. I just declare victory over, my over life every plan against my life, 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 my promotion. Oh yes, against the growth of my ministry. I just declare my victory. I take victory over the enemy, over his plans against my ministry, against my progress, against my business. Oh yes, I pray for my family, Lord. And I just declare victory. Oh yes, over every plan of victory. Over every move of the enemy. Over every word of the enemy. Over every attack of the enemy against my life. I just take victory over every 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 attack of the enemy against my life. I speak of I use of power in the name of Jesus to destroy every move of the enemy against my finances. I completely destroy every move of the enemy against my business. I completely destroy every move of the enemy against my family. Oh yes, I pray for my family and for my family. I pray that wherever the enemy has attacked the saints, oh yes, I speak victory over the saints, over the enemy, and any attack of the enemy. In any area of now, the life of the in Jesus' name, name. I seek yes. victory for the saints, victory for my family, that they will have victory over every attack of the enemy, on their destiny, on their career, on their promotion, on their business, on their progress. In Jesus' name, I just declare victory, victory, victory for every member of my family, over every plan of the enemy, against their life, against their finances, against their plans, their destiny, against their career, against their promotion, their business, their progress. Victory, 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 victory. That your family will have, have victory. That your saints will have victory. That I will have victory. My children will have victory over every move of your enemy. Jesus, no father will just thank you, Lord. Father, we just bless your name. You're just an amazing, amazing God. I give you thanks. I bless your name. I bless your name. Bless your name. In the name of Jesus, we have prayed. Amen. Amen. Next prayer point is. In Jesus' name, we just pray that God will remove your enemies from you. That they will not find you and you will not find them. And you pray this for your family and the saints worldwide. That here it says that those who contend with you, those who war against you, shall be as nothing as a non-existing thing. It's like they don't exist. They'll be of just of no effect in your life. It's to be as if they don't exist. 
and that's an amazing thing when your enemies are just you know they just just have no effect in your life is to just they'll just be as if they don't exist so let's pray with that with that with that revelation this second prayer point so in jesus name I just pray, Heavenly Father, that you remove all my enemies from me. That every all my enemies will be just be removed. Oh yes, that you will shift them out of any position that they take. Oh yes, that against me, just shift them from that place. Let them not be found. Let them just be gone. Oh yes, and I pray this for myself, for the saints, for my children. That wherever wherever the enemy has come against us, Lord, just remove his agents from us completely. Let them just be gone. I just let them just be gone. Let them be transferred. Let them, let them be moved out. Them let them just move. Let them relocate. Let them just be gone. A way out of our environment. A way from our sphere of influence. Just be gone. That the all that 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 wherever the enemy, every 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 agent of Satan that is that that the enemy is using, let them just be moved out of our lives. Let them be transferred. Let them be moved. Let them be let them let them let them relocate. Lord, just let your hand come upon them to remove. Them from us completely. Lord, for anyone that is just persecuting any of my children, any of my loved ones, Lord, I pray that you remove them. That you just move them. Let them be transferred. Let them be relocated. Let them be just moved, moved away from them in Jesus' name. Oh, Father, I just pray for your protection. Let's continue to protect us. Let it be that even that, 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 that we, when they look for us, they will not find us. And when we look for them, we will not find them. We will, that they will let disconnect them from us, Lord. In Jesus' name, you, in Jesus' name, whatever influence that the that the, that the agents of Satan have over us or the environment, in Jesus' name, I break that influence. Oh yes, and I pray in Jesus' name that they be removed, that they be removed. Let them no longer have any influence over us or our environment, over our lives. In Jesus' name, oh Father, God, those that plan evil for us, oh in Jesus' name, remove them from us. In Jesus' name, I pray for my children that where they have people in their places of work who are oppressing them, who are giving them a hard time, who are blocking them, who are creating problems for them. Lord, I pray that you remove these people. Let them be transferred. Let them be just removed. If they need to be fired, let them be fired. Let them be just, just removed out in Jesus' name. Oh Lord, you know best. So Lord, we pray that you just separate these evil people, these agents of Satan, from my children, from all my loved ones in Jesus' name. I pray this for the saints. That wherever people are just, just, just persecuted, and are fleeting the saints. Lord, move them, move them, remove them. Let them not be found in Jesus' name, I pray. That you remove them in Jesus' name, we pray. Oh, Father, we thank you, Lord. We thank you, Lord. We pray, Lord, that you protect us and defend us in the name of Jesus. Amen. In Jesus' name, amen. Let's start to declare in the name of Jesus that those who were against us, against you, the say that they get out that they were against the saints of the church worldwide shall diminish and decrease till they become nothing as a non existing thing. I mean, a good example is I mean, what we're hearing about some very rich people who like this COVID 19 is actually just a plan to put the world under under some kind of domination of some sort. But you know, they're, they're, they're just very rich people, they just they have a lot of resources. And, they, and this is what they do with their resources. And all over the world, too. Resources are involved in the persecution of the saints anywhere in the world. So let's just pray this morning that indeed all these people who are warring against us and the church, let God start to diminish them in resources and authority. There are people in high authority who are, who are authorizing a lot of evil against us as a church. Let God remove them from their seats of authority. Let God separate them from that authority, from the power from the resources, from the money. Let God just diminish them and reduce them till they, they become nothing of no effect against us in Jesus' name. Let us pray because God can do this and he will do it in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name, I just declare in Jesus' name that those who are warring against me, warring against the church and the sin, Lord, I pray that you diminish them, that you decrease them, that you remove them from authority, that you that you take their wealth from them, that you take their money from them, that these resources that are being used for evil, Lord, take them from the people who are using them for evil. That let these resources fall into the hands of the saints, that the saints will use the same resources to 
will bless the world. In the name of Jesus, as a church, as a people from this altar, we are speaking against all those who are moving against the saints. Lord, we pray that you remove them from authority, remove them from influence, just disconnect them from their resources. Take Jesus and we pray that you take these resources from them. We speak it in the name of Jesus, that they will lose these resources, that they will lose their position, they will lose their, their authority. In Jesus name, we speak that Jesus, that they will decrease and continue to decrease until they become as a non-existing thing, as nothing, until they are beggars on the street in the name of Jesus. For all those who are using their resources to shed the blood of the saints, in the name of Jesus, we pray that they have money that they are using. Lord, take it from them. Take it all from them in Jesus' name. Remove them from authority. Take their resources from them. Take their influence from them. And put them to shame. Drive them to the streets. We pray in the name of Jesus. All these people that, that have become so proud and they're using their money to persecute the saints. They are buying weapons to kill the saints. They are buying their, 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 their sponsoring, their sponsoring kidnappers and terrorists and herdsmen. They're, they're just sponsoring the killing of the saints. They're sponsoring the bloodshed of the saints. My father remove their resources, remove their money, remove the, 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 their support system in the name of Jesus. Just we pray. Disconnect them from their sources of power. Their sources of demonic power. Disconnect them. The sources of wealth. Disconnect them. Lord, disconnect them completely. Isolate them and drive them into the street. Lord, penniless in the name of Jesus. Oh Lord, we come against their resources. Remove their resources. Remove their connections. Those that have a voice, Lord, remove their voice in the name of Jesus. Let them be as a non-existing thing. In Jesus' name, we speak against the enemies of the church who have sworn themselves against the church to destroy the saints, to destroy the church. Lord, I pray, we pray as a people in Jesus' name that you remove them, that you remove their wealth, remove them from authority in Jesus' name, remove them from their positions, remove them all their support system, remove every paraphernalia of government, of power away from them. Any stuff of authority in their hands, Lord, shatter it and take it from them in the name of Jesus and make them completely powerless as a non-existing thing. We speak it from this altar in the name of Jesus that indeed let your word, let this word go forth, oh yes, and achieve its purpose to, 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 to that every, 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 every person that have enthroned themselves against the church, who have put themselves in a high place, on a throne against, Lord we pray dethrone them dethrone them, every throne that has been raised against the church in Jesus' name destroy these thrones in the name of Jesus. Every throne that has been raised against the church, in the name of Jesus, we release the power and the fire in the name of Jesus to destroy these thrones completely, completely. That any king, any crown that is being worn by anybody against the church, in Jesus' name, we release the power of God to destroy the crown, to destroy the crowns, to destroy the crowns, to destroy the, the, the staff, any staff of authority that has been used against the church. Lord, release the power of God against against that staff, to destroy the staff and destroy the authority, to remove the authority from them in the name of Jesus. Oh yes, and wherever the thrones have been raised, wherever the altars have been raised, against the church, against the saints, in Jesus' name we speak against the thrones, we speak against the altars, destroy them, destroy them in Jesus' name. In the name of Jesus we release the power, the fire in the name of Jesus, against every throne, against every crown, against every altar that has been raised against the children of God, against the saints, against me and my family, against the, the, the church. Let these thrones be destroyed in Jesus' name. Completely ground to powder and destroyed. Let every altar that has been raised against us, let them be destroyed in Jesus' name. Every garden, every community that has that seed, whose sole purpose is to destroy the children of, of God, the saints. Lord, we scatter these communities. We scatter them. Let your fire strike them and scatter them. We release your, the hammer of God against them. Oh yes, in Jesus' name. Every witchcraft covered that's speaking against the church, that's speaking against the saints. We release the power of God against them to scatter them. In Jesus' name, we release the hammer of God to break their wings. Break their wings that they shall not be able to fly against us in the name of Jesus. Oh, Father, we just thank you, Lord. We bless your name, Lord. In the name of Jesus, we release your power, your power, Lord, against every evil work that has been done against the church, done against the saints, done against them, my family. Let your fire just destroy completely every evil work that has been done against us in the name of Jesus. Oh, Father, we thank you. Father, we bless your name. In in Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. In Jesus' name. Continuing in the same vein. Isaiah 41, 13. 
It says, For I, the Lord your God, will hold your right hand, saying to you, Fear not, I will help you. Let's just use this just right away to pray for the saints, that indeed, that the saints will just have a supernatural revelation that Almighty God is their God, and that yes, God is going to help them, that they should trust in God, and that there should be no fear in their hearts, that they should be, that even though they be under persecution, that they will operate from a place of rest in Jesus' name till help comes, because help is coming. So, Father, this morning, I just pray that every single saint all over the world will hear this word from you that says that you are their God, that you will hold them in your right hand, and that you are saying to them, fear not, I will help you. But let them hear these words in their heart, wherever they are. Let them not be, let them not panic, let them not be in terror, let them not be in, let them not just be, be frozen in fear, let them just not be completely, you know, just, 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 just frozen in fear. Let them just hear your word, like in the midst of the, of the person let them hear your voice say for say that you are their God and that you hold them in your right hand and that they should not fear. Oh Father, I just thank you for this word, Lord. And I pray for Jesus that this word will supernaturally reach the heart of every single saint that's experienced that's experiencing affliction or persecution at this time. That they will that they will hear this, that they will know this, that they will trust you, and that they will have peace. That indeed, that right now in the name of Jesus, let every saint under persecution will experience your peace, a peace that passes all understanding in Jesus' name, that every saint, oh yes, that is, that is, that is expressing any form of persecution, that they will, that they will, they will just receive your peace, that they will know that you are their God, and that they are, that you hold them in your right hand, and that indeed you have told them to not be afraid, so we speak peace right now into the heart of the saints, into every situation of persecution, we speak Peace, 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 peace. In Jesus' name, Amen. In the name of Jesus, in Jesus' name, we pray, Amen. Our first prayer point on this slide is: In Jesus' name, receive the Lord's leading in every area of your life and situation, and yes, of your life. And pray for your family and sins. That we are praying to receive the Lord's leading. That in all that's happening to us and to the saints, that we will not panic. I just start to operate from our heads, but that we will hear the Lord and will receive the Lord's leading in every situation in our life, in every area of our life. In Jesus' name, let us pray. So, in the name of Jesus, I just receive. I just, I have received. I have ears that hear and eyes that see and heart that understand that I will receive the leading of the Lord in every area of my life that no matter what's going on around me that I will not panic and start to just do my own thing and I pray this for myself I pray this for the saints in the name of Jesus that in every situation no matter how tense no matter how how harsh that that, that we will always just follow your leading that we will receive your leading like in every area of my life and I pray this for my children that in all that happens to us that we will follow your leading that our ears will be open to hear you our eyes will be able to see what you're showing us, that we will not forget what you show us. We will receive interpretation of what you've shown us, that our hearts will understand what our ears hear and what our eyes see. And we will just start to follow your leading in complete obedience, in prompt obedience, in the name of Jesus. That will have our obedient hearts in Jesus' name. I pray this for all the saints all over the world, that the, that, that, that the saints will listen out for your word before they move. That the saints Will, will see what you're, what you're showing them and understand. Because so we just, I pray in Jesus' name, for an obedient heart for all the saints, for the church, that the church will be obedient, the saints will be obedient in the name of Jesus, that my children will be obedient in the name of Jesus. Oh, Father, I thank you, Lord. I just bless your name, Lord. You're an amazing God. We just receive your word, we receive your leading. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. In the name of Jesus, let's start to reject and renounce fear out of our heart and out of every area of our lives. And let's really, once we're done with ourselves, let's pray this for the saints, especially the saints under persecution. You know, there's a lot of fear. Let's just start to to just just cast fear out of their hearts and just start to release a perfect love that casts out fear as well. 
into their hearts. Let's start praying. Let's, so let's start with ourselves and then to end up with the saints. In Jesus' name, I just start to reject every spirit of fear that's operating in my heart. I reject, I renounce every spirit of fear that's attacking me. I command you to get away from me. In every area of my life, I just renounce fear. I just have any hidden fear, any latent fear that's hiding, hiding, waiting to operate on one, one day. I, I shine the light of God into my soul to locate you right now. And I bind you and I cast you out. I renounce I reject you. It's just my, it's just my, my forbid fear to operate, heart, 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 to operate in my heart, to operate in my mind, to operate in my soul. In the name of Jesus, I just, in Jesus' name, I release the power of God against fear and any fear in my soul. In Jesus' name, I cast out fear. I cast, I command fear to get out. I bring I find every single fear that in my spirit to get out, get out, get out. I will not allow you. In Jesus' name, I release the fire, the power of God against every spirit of fear that's lurking around me, that's focused on me, that's attacking me. I burn with fire and I command you to flee from me in Jesus' name. I will not tolerate fear in my life in Jesus' name. There shall be no fear in my thoughts, no fear in my speech, no fear in my actions in the name of Jesus. There shall be no fear in my soul in Jesus' name, no fear in my heart in the name of Jesus. I just renounce every spirit of fear. I catch them out. And in Jesus' name, I pray for the saints. Oh yes, God. In Jesus' name, I just pray for so over every spirit of fear that's operating in the heart of the saints, especially the saints under persecution. I bind you and I cast you out in Jesus' name. I command you to get out in Jesus' name. And in Jesus' name, I release the peace and the strength of God into the hearts of the saints. I, I just release the spirit of might upon all the saints, especially the saints suffering persecution. I release the spirit of might upon the saints in Jesus' name. Your spirit of boldness and strength. Oh yes, I, I release upon the saints, especially the saints under persecution. Execution, that they will receive in Jesus' name your spirit, my Father, of strength, of boldness, of might, oh yes, that uh, of wisdom, of knowledge, of understanding, that they will be filled with the Holy Spirit in Jesus' name, that they will trust in you, and there shall be no fear. They will have wisdom, they will know what to do, they will know how to get out, how to escape, and how to just come against what is coming against them in Jesus' name. How to have victory, they will figure, they will know it in Jesus' name. Oh Father, I thank you, Lord. I thank you, Lord, and I speak against fear in the church. Oh yes, in Jesus' name, I, I release the fire of fire in the name of Jesus against every spirit of fear working against the church, working in the church. I bind you and I cast you out of the church. I cast you out of the church and I decrease and I declare that you will no longer be able to operate in the church in Jesus' name. Oh Father, we thank you. Father, we bless your name in the name of Jesus. Amen. Let's start to declare that you will not be afraid in your plans for the future. There are times when our plans are just full of fear. We don't, the plans are not strong enough, they're not large enough, they're not wide enough, they're just not the plans that God has in mind for us because we have used fear to reduce to God's plans for our lives. We are using fear to limit God in our lives. So let us start to, to, so start to declare that you will not be afraid in your plans for the future in testifying for Jesus. You'll not be afraid too when it's time to testify for Jesus. You'll not be afraid in your relationships. Those who you should, you should talk to, talk to them. You'll not be afraid in your finances. You know, make wise investments. Do what you need to do with your finances. You'll not be afraid in your decisions. You'll not be afraid in your choices. We pray this for family and saints worldwide. Let's hit this really fast. In Jesus' name, I just declare that I will not be afraid in my plans for the future. I will not be afraid when I'm testifying for Jesus. In Jesus' name, I will not be afraid in my relationships. In Jesus' name, I will not be afraid in my finances. In Jesus' name, I will not be afraid in my decisions. I will not be afraid in my choices. I will make bold decisions. I will make bold choices. I will make bold decisions in my finances. I will be bold in my relationships. I will be bold when I'm testifying for Jesus. I will be bold when I'm making plans for my future. In Jesus' name, I just pray for the saints and the saints worldwide that the saints will not be afraid as they make their plans in the future. That the saints will not be afraid as they testify for Jesus. I pray that the saints will not be afraid in their relationships, in their finances, in their decisions, in their choices. That the saints will not be afraid. Just the majority of the saints will not be afraid. Oh yes, in Jesus' name. Oh, yes, that I will not be afraid. That my children will not be afraid. Oh yes, their plans for the future. They will make bold plans. They will make the when time to testify for Jesus that my children will be bold and they will testify 
testify for Jesus. And they will that my children will be tested with the bold in their relationships and bold in their finances and bold in their decisions and wise and bold in their choices. Jesus name. Oh Father, we thank you. Father, we bless your name. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. In Jesus' name. And finally, on this slide, on this slide, we'll pray. In Jesus' name, receive the supernatural help of God into every area of your life. We'll pray this for our family and the saints worldwide, especially the saints who are being persecuted all over the world. Let us pray. So in Jesus' name, I just receive supernatural help from God. Oh yes, Lord, help me to see the help. Help me to accept the help. Help me to receive the help. Help me to help this. Let this help just completely sort me out. I pray in Jesus' name. Lord, I praise my family and the saints that indeed that we will see your help, we will receive your help in every area of our lives that we need help, that we will receive your help, that we will not be proud, we will not be ignorant, we will not see, but our eyes will be open and will be humble to embrace your help into every area of our lives in Jesus' name. I pray this for my children, that my children will receive your help, that they'll have a humble heart to just, just see and receive your help into every area of your of their lives in Jesus' name. I pray for the saints, especially the saints that are being persecuted. That the saints who are being persecuted will receive your help in Jesus' name. That they receive your help, Lord. That they receive your help into every area. That, 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 that even when they don't even realize they need help, when the help comes, they don't receive it. And the help that they are looking for, let them see the help in Jesus' name. Let them see. Because I know, Lord, that in your love, you have sent help. You have spoken help. You have given help. Let us connect with the help you have sent. Let us get a revelation of the help you have given in Jesus' name. Lord, I pray this for myself, for my children, for all the saints, that we receive your help in the name of Jesus. That we embrace your help. That we receive your help. That get your help start to be manifest in our lives. Oh, Father, we thank you. Father, we just bless your name, Lord. We receive your help, Lord. Let us not miss your help in every situation. As soon as the help is there, let us recognize your help. Let us receive your help. Let your help start to have effect in our lives. Be your, your design effect in our life. Let your help be effective in our lives. So help us to, to allow your help to just do what you are sent it to do in our lives in Jesus' name. Oh, Father, we thank you. Father, we bless your name. In the name of Jesus, we have prayed. Amen.